if you had to sell one product for the rest of eternity and the only way your company would grow if is that that customer referred their friends to come buy your product how good would you deliver on that product welcome to bullish where we talk about the journey and process to build ourselves and companies into multi-billion dollar people and brands. Currently, my business and investment funds have done tens of millions in revenue. And this is the documentation of the journey to scale to the billion dollar realm. All while we give back and do good in the world. My name is Bridger Pennington and welcome to Bullish. Millionaires focus on marketing, billionaires focus on building great products. It's funny, I was listening to a, a video from a guy, multi-billionaire the other day, and he said, he said, I am in the game of not sales. I want to be in the game of resales or reorders. Whenever we build a portfolio company, he buys a lot of companies and they build them up. He goes, I want to be in the game. I don't want to have to go and build out this whole robust sales and marketing system. I want to be in the game of reordering because our customers are so happy with what we've done that they keep coming back to us and they refer their friends to us time and time again. Another way to look at this is if, if you had to sell one product for the rest of eternity. And the only way your company would grow if is that that customer referred their friends to come buy your product. How good would you deliver on that product? If you that was the only way to grow was through affiliate marketing. You could only sell one product to one customer and it had to be so amazing, so worth the value that they would feel obligated to tell their friends and family and everyone around them to come in buy your product. You look at the great products of today and the great companies of today typically don't have these crazy marketing budgets. I think one of my favorite examples is Tesla. So now I actually own two Teslas to help. I recently just bought a Plaid. The, the car is incredible. And when you get a Tesla, you actually want to take other people in it and like show them. Look at the self-driving. Look at how fast it is. How it, It's funny. I don't know. I'm sure people listen to this. You've had people like friends and family tell you about their Tesla. Man, I just love the big screen and the whatever. Like, and that's how I am. I took my my two brother in laws out last time. Like, well, you got to guys, you guys got to feel how fast this car is. The Plaid's like the fastest car in the world, production car ever made or whatever. You got to come feel this. And they come in the car, and I and I I'm like, man, I'm doing a free sales pitch right now for Tesla. Why? Because the product, in my opinion, was so good that I felt like I I wanted to show other people about. It. I wanted to go tell other individuals how cool and how amazing this product was. Uh. Think about most products that me and you use today. A lot of them grow because customers, users, like think about the brand new TV or like a phone you bought. Everyone loves showing off their new gadgets to their friends <laughs> and talking about all these cool features that they have. And they actually sell like I like Apple Watch. Like I've sold, I've sold, I don't know, five of these watches. I love the Apple Watch Ultra. It's an incredible watch. I've, I come out and I tell people like it has this cool, all these cool features. It has this great thing. It tracks your sleep. It tracks all this cool stuff. You got to go buy one of these. And I'm doing free sales for them. So again, back to millionaires focus on marketing, billionaires focus on grill, building great products. I think for me, I we actually do a pretty good job of marketing in our company. And I this whole show is predicated in the process of becoming a billionaire. What's funny, the, the last year with Fun Launch, we have really shifted. I mean, we I think we've made very good products, very good products. I wouldn't say they are, like as today, gr like great, meaning like a, except like number one across the board. Now, I'm going to say that tongue-in-cheek a little bit. Our, our products actually are pretty phenomenal. And we, built, we started building courses, and we've helped a lot of people do incredible things with their funds. We've had now 100 people. Uh, we have 12 funds over $100 million. We have one fund over a billion. I think 54 funds over $10 million in our group. And I don't know how many over a million, but it's pretty pretty phenomenal the success people have had with Fund Launch. But I'm looking at, and this is for me from like an owner point of view, I always think about how much better it can be. And so I go, yeah, we're, we're good. We need to become like, what we're going to be in 10 years from now and the products and services that we can provide to our clientele and customer base need to be absolutely exceptional. Now I meet with my people in fun launch a lot. So now we have 60,000 students in fun launch. Now I'm going to say this again, tongue in cheek. We are the number one product in our category. We are by far the number one. We are the category king of our space. There is no one else even close to launching as many funds as we do with the volume and the scale and the magnitude of what we do. It's funny enough. We had a client just the, over the weekend tell us, he, him and his buddy were both launching funds. They looked at fund launch. They looked at some other, I guess there's some other options out there. They're not like courses. They're like, they like hired lawyers, whatever. Anyways, one, the guy that messaged us had went with fund launch. His buddy went with another group and to launch their fund. The buddy had spent, I think two or three times the money with their fund still hadn't launched yet. Couldn't get responses. Couldn't get whatever. I can't remember. I don't even know the service name that he went with. The guy with fund launch is already on the process of launching his fund. He's like, dude, this has been 
10 times better than my buddy's experience. And, he, and we think his buddy's actually going to come and now rejoin fund launch <laughs> to launch his fund, which is pretty cool to hear from our point of view, but we always think we can be better. But we've been pretty good at marketing. And now we've actually hired a new brand new pre- uh, uh, head of product to really go deep onto products and how we're going to build out the products of the future. And hopefully we don't have to do as much marketing. We spent, I think we spent about $2.5 million in Facebook and Instagram ads the last two years with my face on it, like yelling at people, hey, like join our thing. We, we do a lot with marketing. We throw live events. We do all these cool things. We do like a lot of fun to like market. And actually, I think we will continue to do that because it's very fun. It gets a lot of brand awareness. We actually, our group, we have to educate our audience. A lot of people don't even know they want to build a fund till we educate them on what a fund is and how it's been like, oh yeah, I need that. Like that's what I've been missing. That's the gap that I've wanted to have to scale my real estate portfolio or scale my business. They don't even know it was an option. So we have to actually have this whole education process to build up clients that actually want to launch a fund. But what's interesting is we are getting to the point now, I think we're starting to transition as a business to where we got marketing off the ground to get us to, you know, I think we're around 20 million in in growth sales. Um, And that's been great. But if we wanted to get to 100 million a year sales, 250 million a year sales, we're going to need to transition our products to where our clients are selling them for us. And or people are so impressed by what we're doing that they are. And we're actually starting to now tip into that category, which is pretty cool. And I think that's going to be the next big shift of fun launch is moving. And we have multiple now multiple product steps in our ladder, but shifting from the idea of let's get really good at marketing, which we're actually pretty phenomenal at marketing to let's just build really. So we have new products coming out right now. We're actually building a bunch of new tech products, new things that are coming out. And the idea behind all those products are, let's say we have zero marketing budget. We have zero marketing budget. You've got to build a product so good that without any marketing, anything, if you sold 10 customers, this would grow to a $100 million company because the product is so good that those 10 customers would feel obligated to go tell their family, friends, everyone in their circle about how good the product is. That's how we're approaching all of our new products that we're building in Fun Launch right now, which is a cool thought. It's a very interesting way to think about it. And it's a shift that we've consciously made as a business, not on how could we sell this thing or how could we market it? How, how could our sales team approach this thing to how do we build such an incredible product that it sells itself? <laughs>